before watching the video don't forget to subscribe the channel and enable bell notification to never miss an update from us hello everyone and morning all of you this is ashima your current affairs and banking awareness faculty on entry platform and in this video we'll be talking about all the major news events that are important from examination point of view we'll be considering all the important news events and we'll be talking about them in form of um, so that you can take your notes alongside and therefore this session is going to be helpful in your note making and information gathering this is a short video where you can get all the major updates whereas for those who want to practice questions for them we have a free live quiz this quiz is completely free of cost and will be available at entry app you can download app from the link provided in description section below and in the comment section below starting on the discussion of with the first news event union minister of ports shipping and waterways sarbanand sonu walji has announced expansion of north eastern institute of ayurveda and folk medicine research which is in pasighat arunachal pradesh they are going to be developing new infrastructure within the campus and for um, doing this or putting this plan into execution they uh, there has been a fund of about 53.72 crores which has been released as well now via this expansion under this new ayurveda college about 30 seats are expected to be increasing and a new ayurveda hospital with 60 beds will be established creating a direct employment of about 86 posts INS Vishakhapatnam which is a P15B stealth guided missile destroyer has been commissioned into Indian Navy at the Naval Dockyard in Mumbai This is the first of the four Vishakhapatnam class destroyers desi designed by Indian Navy's in-house organization Directorate of Naval Design and has been constructed by Mazagon Dock Ship Builders Limited which is located in Mumbai It measures about 160 Three meters in length and seventeen meters in breadth, and uh, it has a displacement of about seven thousand four hundred tons. Then we have Sadar Bazar Police Station of Delhi, which has been ranked as the best police station of India for 2021 by the Ministry of Home Affairs. Uh, the The list of top ten police stations was released by which ministry? That might come. That is again Home Affairs Ministry, which has released this top ten police stations, in which the tenth rank was given to Rampur Choram Police Station, which is in Arwal district of Bihar. Lewis Hamilton, who is driving for Mercedes and is from Great Britain, has won 2021 F1 Qatar Grand Prix, and with this win, Lewis Hamilton has become the first driver to have won 30 different circuits in Formula One. International Cricket Council (ICC) has appointed Geoff Aldridge as the permanent CEO of the International Cricket Governing Body. Recently, he was an interim CEO for a duration of eight months, replacing Manu Sahane, who had resigned in the month of July in 2021. Aldridge is from which country? He is of Australia. He is an Australian player. 2021 Asian Archery Championship was organized in Dhaka, Dhaka, Bangladesh, in which Indian archers have bagged seven medals at the competition and therefore are at the second position in the medal table, with South Korea being the topmost in medal tally. Out of the seven medals that we have won. One medal is gold, which was won by Jyoti Surekha Venam or uh, in women's individual compound event. Then we have four silver medals and two bronze medals, which have been won by India. IDFC First Bank has partnered with HPCL IDFC First Bank, so they have partnered. So IDFC First Bank has partnered with IDFC with HPCL recently, and why has this partnership taken place? Uh, basically, to enable FastTag customers to facilitate fuel payments of passenger vehicles in the retail outlets of HPCL. Now, MD and CEO of IDFC First Bank is V Vedyanathan. 
IDFC first we have V Vaidyanathan ji and HPCL CMDs M K Surakana ji M K Surakana Special Credit Linked Capacity Subsidy Scheme for Service Sector was launched by Union MSME Minister Narayan Rane at Guwahati recently and uh, it aims to promote entrepreneurship skills and opportunities in the MSME sector of the North East segment. Odisha recently celebrated Boita Bandhan Festival recently. Now, Boita Bandhan Festival is um, celebrated in Karthik Purnima and it's in various water bodies of Odisha and um, there are various traditions which are associated with the, uh, with the festival. Asian Youth Para Games 2025, that is the fifth edition, is going to be hosted by Tashkent, Uzbekistan. The fourth edition of Asian Youth Para Games will be hosted by Manama. So, uh, this announcement has come out recently. And after this announcement, now this is the first time that it is happening that both the editions that is the youth para games uh, are being organized in the same place now this has not happened in a long time that uh, the youth para, youth para games and youth games both are being organized in the same city and in the same year that being in 2025 according to this in Tashkent also, it is the first Central Asian country where it is being organized, like first time in this Central Asian country where it is being organized. And um, in 2021, where was it organized? That was in Manama in Bahrain. That is the fourth edition being organized. That is the fourth edition being organized. Now, in this, you also need to remember about Asian Paralympic Committee. The president of Asian Paralympic Committee or APC is Majid Rashid. Majid Rashid, whereas the CEO is Tarek Sui. Beryl Tanga, who is a novelist, has won 12th Manipur State Award for Literature 2020 for his book with the title A. Amdi. Adugay Itad, that is I and the then island. <clears throat> it's basically behind the scenes on India's victory against United Kingdom in the elections to International Court of Justice in the year 2017. Union Minister for Science and Technology Jitendra Singh Ji launched first of its kind latest world's most sophisticated MRI or magnetic resonance imaging facility. That is MRI scanner Prisma from Siemens, Germany at National Brain Research Center, which is in Manesar in Haryana. Right. And this is the first time in India where this machinery has been set up. Aviation Minister Jyotiraditya Madhavarao Sindhya, Ministry of Civil Aviation, inaugurated a curtain riser for the fifth edition of Asia's largest event on civil aviation, commercial, general and business aviation, Wings India 2022. It's a biennial event which is scheduled on March 24th to 27, 2022 at Begumpeth Airport, Hyderabad with the theme India at 75, a new horizon for aviation industry. The organizing is going to be done by Ministry of Civil Aviation or MOCA and Airports Authority of India AAI and FICI which is Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and Industry along with Ministry of External Affairs. Indian Railway and Catering and Tourism Corporation or IRCTC and Indian Railways have developed India's first state of art pod hotel, a pod concept retiring room called the Urban Pod at the Mumbai Central Railway Station. Urban Pot Private Limited has been awarded the contract to set up, operate and manage the pod hotel for a duration of 9 years recently. 7th edition of Indian Ocean Naval Symposium Conclave of Chiefs is being organized by French Navy at Paris from 15th to 16th of November and the 7th edition of this biennial event was hosted by French Navy at La Reunion in the month of June to July. So in June to July, 1st edition of this year was held and the 2nd edition is being organized again in Paris now. 
Next, a group of scientists from University of Kerala and Jawaharlal Nehru Tropical Botanic Garden and Research Institute, they have identified a new tree species from Aden Malukit Forest in Idukki district in Kerala. The new species name is Cryptocaria Muthuviriana, which is in honor of Muthuvar tribes of Edamalkudi tribe settlement in Iduki. They play a major role in conserving of the forest and this is the first time ever that after a name of tribal community, a name of a tree has been given. Fifth edition of Asian Youth Para Games to be hosted in Tashkent and will be hosted in the same city, same avenues as we have already discussed. Senior Indian diplomat Saeed Akbaruddin has authored a new book, India vs. UK, the story of an unprecedented diplomatic win. And with this, we'll be winding up this segment and I hope this session has been helpful. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, have a great day ahead and good luck with your preparation, all of you.